Today I will be sharing with you a script you can use in your scenarios that will make an AI patrol inside a house or a building that you want. Place a player. He's going to be an unarmed rifleman. We'll just put him right about here. That's fine. And just face that way. And then we're going to place another soldier. It's going to be a rifleman. I'm going to place him right on the steps. Face him this way. I'm going to edit his loadout. And I'm just going to give him a loadout that I use, kind of fitting for the, uh, the map. Alright, so what this is basically, you can take an AI and if you want them to patrol a building of your choice, it doesn't matter what building, as long as it has uh, positions that the AI can go to. So what this script does, it, it mainly makes the AI walk around inside the building and patrol the various spots. So in this particular building, which I found to be a good choice, is the AI will patrol all the various rooms, go on the roof and go to different, different locations and just patrol the building. But let's save our mission here and we're going to put this mission on Livonia and we're going to name this house patrol all right so we have our mission named next we're going to go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to where it says open scenario folder here we are in our mission folder for our house patrol i have a script for you guys that we're going to put into the mission folder I'm going to zip this script up and link it in the description of the video so you can download it once you get the script, just put it into your mission folder like you see here. And uh, let's open up the script and take a look. So this script is called Random House Patrol Script and it was created by Tofi of Astakota Ops. As I said, this script basically makes the AI patrol randomly inside a house. Now this has optional parameters too, but this is the basic code that you would use to put into the soldier or the AI's INIT box and I'll show you that in a minute. So you have different optional settings and there's codes for it. This is the basic setup of the, the code of what's below. So you have your mode which is the behavior. Then you have the stand time which is this here. Then you have the excluded position, which is this here. Then you have the starting position. And then you have debug, which is the last one. We're going to start with the debug code, which is here. And we're just going to copy that. Let's control C. Now just to notice before we get into the game here, this is the a stand time. The stand time is basically the soldier will walk to a certain point and stand there and the five stands for seconds so he's gonna stand there for five seconds look around and then basically move on to the next position whatever that's gonna be by default it's set to 30 so 30 seconds he's gonna stand there I kind of find that to be a long time so I change this to five seconds so what this code is gonna do is this is the debug code test to see what what positions that your soldier or AI are going to possibly walk to and it'll put a kind of a 3d marker in those positions and you'll see them so you, it'll give you an idea all right let's go back into the mission and paste the code all right back in the mission let's go to our soldier here and edit him let's go to the INIT box press ctrl v that pastes the code so remember just the quick thing the soldier is going to be going to be safe he's going to stop every five seconds it's going to be a random position. He's going to he's going to be in a high position, and the debug is on. So the debug will basically put markers in those positions that the house has or the building has, and the AI is going to walk randomly to those various positions. I just hit OK and let's save that and test it out. All right, so he's going to spawn inside the house and we're gonna see where he's at 
So you can see the patrol points, the positions that this building has. like that. Wish it was more realistic where they actually reached out with an animation to you know, open actually open the door, turn the knob or the handle. I like that they come up to uh, the windows like that. Alright, let's go back to the editor. We can turn off the debug. We'll edit the soldier. Remember this last line where it says true. It means the debug is on and those markers will show. So you just go change that to false. Hit OK. Save the scenario. Hit play. And we'll see where he's at. This would be cool for like a, a scenario where you have to kind of infiltrate a base or something and try to get into a building kind of like this and uh, you know either complete a task by destroying something or stealing something or downloading some data or killing someone and we have you know a soldier just doing his routine patrolling the grounds and just uh, you know kind of like a nighttime guard just uh, going going doing a walk and just uh, guarding the building basically. Okay. 